Most of you will probably know that airplanes fly through the air. However, that doesn't mean that it always has speed relative to the ground. Just ask any pilot who has dealt with wind before. And to demonstrate that as clearly as possible, I'm going to give helicopters a run for their money by demonstrating that fixed wing planes can hover as well, as long as you have a convenient 60 knot wind available and everyone hasn't evacuated already. To make this easier, let's start with a toy example, a literal toy example, and bring it up into the air. After taking some time determining the sweet spot, I had the aircraft traveling at heading of 020 at 80 knots and an altitude of 500 feet. Now it's time to start ramping up the wind. From 020 at 60 knots and we should see some sweet sweet results. Okay, naturally because we're so fast the plane immediately caught on a lot of speed. Okay, I'm just going to wait until it slows down. Uh, I'm also going to gradually push up like that. We hit some turbulence there. But as you can see, the ground speed is down to less than 20 knots. Interesting. And if you switch to the flyby view, this plane is flying impossibly low in the sky. Just like I want it. Still going forward because we're still pushing it at, say, about 60 knots. Not the full 80. But as you can see, it is definitely not moving forward as much as you would expect. Okay, let's see what, what our speed is going to be. Set 4 knots, I think we're close enough to hovering. A little bit of tweaking to the wind speed later, and our fixed wing aircraft is virtually hovering in the sky. There we go! An airplane just straight up hovering in the middle of nowhere <laughs> we have done it guys of course the reason that we're hovering is that our propeller is nearly exactly counteracting the force of the wind trying to blow us backwards so if we turn 180 degrees around our propeller airplane can also approach the runway at the speed of an airliner we can also line ourselves up for a landing on the other side of the runway with massive wind corrections that make it feel like we're drifting the whole time. It's really cool. And it's possible to execute a rather normal approach. Landing is impossible though. The instant the wheels touch down, the plane gets blown around and it's impossible to get it to settle, at least for me. I also try to stay over a certain spot on the runway, which is a good exercise in rewiring your brain. <laughs> Time to move on to a real plane then. I also tried this with a Cessna C172P. I have to be a lot more careful in incrementing the wind speed because any single error could have easily blown my plane away. Plane is shaking, but we're fine. Uh oh. <laughs> I, I think it's going side to side a lot. Once the howling wind is at 60 knots though, it's time to release the parking brakes and go. Okay, we are at fi at 55 on the airspeed. Let's hook up a parking brake, be very vigilant on the rudder, and take off and see what we can do. We want to be very precise in terms of heading down the runway. And we are off! Unfortunately, I couldn't turn on the autopilot on the C172P, so I had to fly the whole thing manually. It is not working, so I will have to fly this manually. Okay, fine, fine. I'll do this manually. And of course, to the segment you all are waiting for, the hover attempt. There we go, I say it's not hovering in the air! There we go! Right, let's... I also tried to land a Cessna C-172P facing into the wind. The Ogo bounced around and landed inverted with its pilot's head under the ground. Let's see how that turns out with the C-172. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Ouch. <laughs> well, it looks like that's, that's how we land. Yep, that's how we land. This is why you don't fly small airplanes in high winds, people. You can do amazing stuff, 
but you can also get stuff into real trouble, and nothing works the way you thought they would. <laughs> so, I think that's going to be it for the uh, for today, guys. Thanks for watching, Nordic Kitty, and we'll see you again next time. Have a nice flight.